What does the G stand for? Good. What does the SR stand for? Super reliable, maybe? Anyway, it's a pad that is one of the most commonly used mouse pads available these days across a variety of esports. Why is this so commonly used? Does it deserve its usage rate? And should you consider buying one? So this pad comes in one size, which is 470mm by 390mm and has a thickness of just 3.5mm. It is a good size, I prefer ones that are a bit more horizontal as they sit a lot better on a desk, especially I have a monitor that has a bit of a chunky stand that takes up more room than it really should. So this pad, once again, as some of the others, it comes to you rolled. Even after around a week of use and actually having other pads piled onto it, there is still some slight flaring on the sides. These don't get in the way for me personally, but if you're someone that really makes use of the whole pad, then it could be quite annoying. So this pad is using a cloth top, which is nice and smooth. It also has my favorite stitch edging, hooray. The stitches on the edges are really tight and nicely done, so there shouldn't be any fraying. There's a tiny little tag on the pad as well, showing the logo. So it's a bit different to some of the others that seem to have a very large logo on the bottom left or right. On the bottom of the pad, you have a smooth rubber base that has no texture to it. This doesn't really cause any issues with it staying on your desk as it remains in place just fine. So for the speed, the balance of this is actually pretty great. It has a good amount of glide to it and playing it in some of my faster first person shooter games has been really good. Sometimes I find that the drag on some mouse pads focus more for CSGO and Valorant it can feel a bit much as it just doesn't really seem to keep up as much. Here though it's still pretty fast so I feel like it's probably one of the better pads that are balanced in this way. In game use is great because of the balance that I mentioned. Normally for faster paced shooters I think that they can suffer a bit in those games as they rely a little bit more on a faster glide because there's a lot more continuous fighting and moving around. There is no doubt though that they are absolutely fantastic for games like CSGO and Valorant that require a little bit more accuracy and precision. Having said that, as I mentioned, I find that this pad has a really good balance between the two and it's actually pretty much more than acceptable for me when I've been playing it in Apex. There's a high standard of quality on this pad that I really enjoyed. The stitching is really tight as mentioned. Cleaning it does very well so there shouldn't be any issues cleaning it if you just use soap, water and a cloth. There aren't any noticeable delicate points that could cause the pad to lose quality. After cleaning it, I found that it maintained its as new feel straight away. Personally, I have owned this one before a few years ago and my cat managed to pluck out a thread straight in the center of the mouse pad, making it pretty much useless, so I had to bin it. The cost of this mouse pad, I think, is where it really shines. It costs around about $29, $25 pounds or 30 euros at the time of this review, which I think is an absolute bargain for a mouse pad of this quality. For this price, you're getting a very high quality pad as well, which leads to my verdict of, well, I think I can highly recommend this mouse pad. It's absolutely brilliant. The stitch edges are, well, it's not a bonus. It should really be a standard, but anyway, it really does help maintain and keep the high standard of quality across the whole pad. The plus of having a really well balanced pad in terms of control and speed is great as I think having an option that aims to please both sides is probably a good middle ground for those that are unsure as to what they want from the mouse pads in terms of speed and control. This pad is a safe choice, if you want something that is pretty much guaranteed to be great to use this is your best bet. The only downside is that the flaring from the rolled up packaging does take a little bit longer to flatten than most, but regardless I think this is absolutely fantastic and I once again I highly highly recommend it. 